Hi everyone, it's me Brian. Okay, I want to share with you how to configure the Maxis Wi-Fi modem uh, so that to make our wireless connection more secure. Okay, of course the first step we need to do is to connect the modem to a PC and then switch it on. Okay, after the modem is connected to the PC, we will see a setup wizard pop up, uh, just like this one that you are seeing. Um, proceed to run the Maxis Broadband setup until it is completed. Okay, once the installation is completed, open up a web browser and enter 192.168.1.1 so that we can access to the control panel of the modem. The default password is admin, but we can change it later on. Okay, once we are in the control panel, uh, go to advanced settings and select WLAN settings. Okay, after that, select WLAN basic settings. Um, okay, we should see the page in step 6, like this. Okay, the first thing we need to do is change the name of the network, which is the SSID. So change it to any name that you like, and uh, the one that you can remember. Okay, after that, click apply. Okay, in step 7, go to WLAN advanced settings. Over here, we need to change uh, all these three settings. The first one is the authentication standard. Select WPA2. And then uh, change the WPA encryption standard to AES. These two are better than the default standards. So I think we better use them. Okay, then uh, the last one is the WPA preset key. This one is the password of the network. Uh, so change it to uh, something longer than 10 characters. Uh, combining letters, uppercase, lowercase, uh, numbers, and symbols. Okay, after you have done, click apply. Okay, then step 9 is to go to security and select firewall switch. Over here, we need to change um, the setting so that we will disable the WAN port pink. Don't forget to click apply on that. Okay. Um, that's all for the basic security settings for Maxis Wi-Fi modem. Okay, now we have changed the network name SSID and the password. So let's see how do we connect to the network using the iPad. Okay, let me switch on the Wi-Fi network. Okay. There you go. You should see the name that you just set. So any name is the name that I set. So let's connect to it. So the default password is only eight characters. So now I've changed it to ten. But of course, uh, you should change it to a longer one and a more complicated one. Combining letters, uppercase, lowercase numbers and symbols okay once we have done just click join okay all right the network is connected and we can start browsing okay so this is how you change the SSID and the password Thank you for watching.